So yeah, kind of screwed up a little bit. Some people indirectly called me out on it, so I want to get things clarified. Let's do that. Last week for Clay Trader Mail, I did a video entitled Impatience Kills and got a bunch of comments on that and what that video essentially referred to, in fact, I'll put a link in the description uh, and you can go back and watch it if you want, but essentially that video was about impatience in regards to wanting to get into trading, wanting to start trading now, not wanting to take the proper steps that should be taking before you ever actually trade with any sort of real money. And that's the type of impatience I was talking about. However, I got comments on that video and it just kind of opened up uh, a world of, oh, I, I can see how they would be thinking that, but that's not the type of impatience I was talking about. So I just want to address one of these comments and then explain more so what I'm actually talking about and why this can be dangerous when you classify impatience in the category that you know this person is talking about. So this comment on YouTube says, this guy is pretty darn good. Well, thank you very much. Half small positions, RAD and DISCA. Try not to be impatient. I am pretty sure of my targets and just have to wait. I am more of a swing trader and am willing to wait a week for the right return. Now maybe you see where this you know, is potentially going, but being impatient in regards to wanting to get started now, wanting to go, let's go, 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 not good. But being impatient in terms of, well, I just need to be a little bit more patient. Yeah, my position is not going the way I, I want it to go, but I just need to be patient. Impatience kills. If I'm not patient enough, then you know, I may miss out. And in some situations, that is true. So this is kind of a very gray territory, but you know, it needs to be addressed because in many situations, I see people that are just holding and hoping, I got to be patient. I got to be patient. And then the price just goes down and I got to be patient. I got to be patient. It goes down some more and more. I got to be patient. I got... That is not the type of impatience I was referring to in last week's video. Sometimes you have to be very impatient in regards to cutting the loser fast. Now, how do you know if you should be impatient or patient? Well, hey, there, here, there's a good little plug for my courses. Hey, that's what I teach in my courses. But that's the big difference. And that's what separates amateur traders from professional traders. Not even professional traders, but traders who truly know what they're doing. Maybe you've heard that before. Do you truly know what you're doing? What's the definition of truly? This is a perfect example. A true trader knows when to be impatient, aka cut the loss fast, and when to be patient. Wait a little bit. Be patient. That's a great definition of truly. If you truly know what you're doing, then you know how to decipher the two. Now, be honest with yourself. If you're sitting there saying, well, actually, I really, I, I struggle. How do I know when to be impatient? How do I know when to be patient? Well, that's a sign that you have more growing to do as a trader. And again, as another nice plug, hey, I offer courses if you're interested in that. If not, that's cool too. But just realize, recognize right now that you got more, you need to learn more. You need to grow more as a trader because there's a big difference between the impatience of last week and the impatience of just gotta wait. It'll come back, it'll come back. So ask yourself, do you know when to be impatient? Do you know when to be patient? Now for the person that left this comment, I did not look at those stocks, I did not look at the charts. So they could very well be right in terms of being and needing to be patient right now or else they could be very wrong and when they should be impatient, when they should be cutting the losses, you know, maybe they're being a little too patient. So um, I don't know in regards to that person's perspective, uh, but the whole point here being is don't let impatience of one context bleed into impatience of another context where it doesn't make any sense. You know, this whole hold and hope thing, that's how bag holders are created. What's a bag holder? A bag holder is, you know, all the discipline traders have left, they've gone to find new stocks, and you're just sitting here with a bag, you know, just holding and hoping. So, impatient, patient. When should you be? Well, that's all gonna determine the setup, the strategy, the system that you have in place, but there is a big difference between the two, and there's a huge difference between the two impatience uh, you know, that I talked about last week and that I did a, a bad job of clarifying. I, I should have probably brought this up in last week's video, but I'll be honest, I, I just didn't even think about it. And then I saw people kind of misinterpreting what I said. Um, and I thought, well, this definitely needs to be clarified. So hopefully this makes sense. 
and hopefully you understand uh, that there are different contexts, there are different degrees of when you need to be impatient versus patient because again, sometimes the best trade you make is when you are impatient and you cut that loser fast, but you don't wanna be too impatient and cut it too, too fast be, before you know, you're letting it do what you think it can do. Again, very gray area, but that's you know, what separates the true traders from one another. Now for our contest giveaway. Congratulations to the Cypress Tree. You have won the $20 Amazon gift card. So contact me through YouTube. You have until next Wednesday to do so, but it's gotta be through YouTube. Just send me a message and uh, we will get you set up with the Amazon $20 gift card. We, may, we got well over 20 comments. That's been kind of the, the bare minimum of whether or not I'm gonna continue with this contest, but we did. So therefore we're gonna go another contest for next week. Again, let's get at least 20 comments. That way I know it's worth the time and people at least find enough interest in it. So in order to get uh, into the contest, three things, be a subscriber of the channel, click the like button, and then leave a comment on this video, and then you are into the contest and it's uh, no risk after that. It's, um, you are eligible for that $20 Amazon gift card. So again, the Cypress Tree, congratulations. Contact me through YouTube within the next week. And for all of you, do those three things and you will be enrolled in the contest. Thanks again for watching. Uh, these Clay Trader Mail videos are very fun. I enjoy reading the interactions. And as you saw here, I do read comments and I fully take what people are saying and you know just make sure that I'm not uh, causing any more confusion. So uh, hopefully everything is clarified now. I'll see you back next week.